Well, there's two dung beetles. Oh, and one of the little copper ones. So there's one of the little copper ones. And two dung beetles, door dung beetles. Three! Three in this trap. Three door dung beetles. One. Oops. There's one. It's playing dead. So, there we go. And my assistants. You're to leave the dung beetles alone. So, so far, there's two in here now. And I'm going to pick up one. Two, three. So there's five dung beetles in here now. Isn't that right? Five dung beetles. Wow. No more in there. So I'm going to reset the traps now. You can see where it started going, digging down in next to the dung. So I'll reset the trap. You can see the mesh there. Three more in this trap. Look at their glossy undersides. You can see why the Australians call them blue bombers. Oops, I better put them in their house or they'll escape, they'll fly away and escape. Today is a hotter day. I've collected another 15 dung beetles from the traps. So in this box are 30 dung beetles from two days collection. And they're all somewhere in that straw. They have plenty of air. And I'm gonna give them some fresh manure to eat. Can't see them anywhere. I know they're in there, by the way, because I put them in there. So, but there's 30 so far from just 10 traps. So we've got cats, dogs, and kittens have been helping do the, check the dung beetle traps and take out the dung beetles. Some people are staying behind the fence there. Isn't that right? You see the kitty? Yep. Yep. Dung beetle collecting kitties. Not many kitties can say they help collect dung beetles. Not right. Yes, kitty. And mustard is down there, sitting on a trap, a dung beetle trap. Isn't that right, kitty?